Come on, that's perfect. All right, a little bit further. That's it, right there, perfect. All right. You are my new fishing yeah. partner. You did fantastic, <laughs> like seriously. She was better at that than Beach Bum, man. Hey, no doubt. Roll that clip. That's the wrong girl. Oh, there you go, he's gotta pull forward. Where are you going? <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's the... <laughs> <laughs> so beach bum i charge about a hundred dollars an hour for boat backing up directions just you know just call me we'll take care of it we're Go going to the pier you're goofing off huh? i want to go to the pier and you're goofing off you know the rain's coming this afternoon right we are not going to the pier today have you seen the water if you wanted to go fishing i'd be all over it well, and now on a day i want to go you're just goofing off and riding scooters and why are, what are you eating anyway wait a minute you're eating dore what else did you eat this morning brant no when hold on man let me just tell you something i'm being logical about this we had a tropical storm and that water is solid mud i called my buddy down there i'm telling you i got a feeling about that pier today i ron just want to go out there and try ron has and a see feeling y'all all right well let's call beach bum and see if he wants to go not gonna answer now are you serious oh there, oh, there he is dude we were like flipped upside down Ron has talked me into going to the pier. He claims he has a feeling. Dude, I, I got a feeling it's going to be good out there dude, today. We want to see if you want to go with us. Pier? Yeah. Dude, you realize how much rain we've had the last like four or five days? Probably That's what I tried to tell the big man. He sounds just like you. I tried to tell the big man over here. I'm telling you, I have a feeling, Beach Bone. I don't think there's going to be crap on the beach right now. My feelings too, man. So. Well, I'll rub it in both your faces when we catch something both of you really like. Ron, you're getting cocky. You know, you outfished me and Brad. You take care of them frogs. All right, dude, see you. <laughs> Ron cut his grass in the backyard. It, we, for we, all the complainers know. that we're talking about. We had Ron's... been on the road for two and a half weeks with a crap ton of rain. Now Myla can play in the backyard without getting lost. Oh, Myla, Myla, come on. I told you it was her first time out this morning. I told you what was gonna happen. We need a bigger, a I long, need a we rod. need a, an eight foot rod for pier fishing. Yeah, That's for sure. This need. is just my snapper That's a rod beast with it, though, yeah. man. All right, let's roll on. If we're gonna go, let's go. Dude, I've been ready for an hour. What are you talking about? Let's go. I can't believe that we're having to drive my wife's car to the pier. That's embarrassing. So guys, today's video is that I didn't even know we were making because I didn't know we were going to the pier. It's sponsored by Waterland Sunglasses. That is our newest supporter of the channel. That is me and Beach Bum's official sunglass sponsor of the channel. So if you see us catch some big fish today on the pier they will be sight fished with these waterland sunglasses you mean when they see us catch a big fish on the pier today well, if when same difference okay so cameraman ron actually has him a pair of waterland so if you want to wear the same sunglasses that we're wearing check them out they'll be linked in my description below for a promo code uh, to get 10% off. Stuff like that really helps us guys. This helps support the channel. And uh, you know, so if you're wearing the same glasses we're wearing, it allows us to make more videos, do all kind of cool stuff like that. So I wonder if I could get a CMR 11 code so I could get 11% off with my code instead of 10 for yours. That'd be kind of cool. I think, I think we need to make that happen. Y'all, this is like the gauntlet right here. You gotta be careful. You gotta watch yourself. Look at this. That they don't look behind them before they cast. No. What did I tell you? Look at the water. It is so, you. It is like Dude, you're being so it's pessimistic like a today. Farm pond. Bad day fishing is better than a good day at work. According ain't, according to the comment section. Ain't that the truth? That is the truth. We've had a tropical storm, so that's why we've been lacking on the fishing vids. This is a little bit. Dude. I bet you can catch a catfish in here. Pro tip. If you ever come to the pier, you gotta watch for the white, yellow, and black poles because those are rentals. And that usually means they don't know what they're doing. That's a so. great point. So check out what we're doing here. We've got a big old swim bait tied on. Got my new custom made rod here. 40 pound braided line on a pin spin fisher 6500. I'm not very optimistic because look at these conditions right here. I will agree with you that the conditions you have to are agree. not ideal. However, I do believe we're gonna catch Ron it. has a feeling. Oh look, there's a bunch of Bonita out there blowing up. Look at them. Huh? I did just see a 
tarpon roll. Okay, so that I've seen a bunch of sharks too. I've seen a big hammerhead, a bunch of smaller sharks. So maybe there's gonna be some stuff around. All right, I'm starting to pick my spirits up a little bit. What do you think, Ron? I told you, man. I told you from the get go. We were okay. coming out here and we was going to catch a big fish today. Okay. You know how long it's been since you caught a big fish? Really? It's been starting to feel like I'm hanging out with Bama Beach Bum or something. Did you just really go there? Jax. Oh, he's on it. There he is. There he is. I got him. I got him. That's him. <laughs> it's a big jab. Did you get a car? <clears throat> Huge jack. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you ah, he's coming to me. No! Oh, flipper's going towards him. Dang. Yeah, he will eat the crap out of him. So, oh man, did he get him? Not yet. Working man, man. I'm tr I'm breaking in this new rod, so. Yeah. That dolphin is on me. He wants it He's so bad. That jack's fast. That jacks are fast though, man. He hasn't got him yet, so we're hoping the dolphin don't get him. <laughs> he ain't got him yet. We'll see what happens. It's not for lack of trying. We've seen him bust on him. The only, yeah. <laughs> There's two of them on him now. Two dolphins. Yeah. <clears throat> Beach bum's gonna be so jealous. This is his favorite fish to catch on the pier. It is. If we get him in. Look at him, he's a, oh, he's on him. He's on him. He's on him. He's, he got him, he got him. I'm going to let him crease fully. Dolphin got him. Dude, get him again. it's gonna be impossible. He don't. He don't have him yet. We'll see. He's literally coming straight to the pier for him. Oh, we got him. He got him. Dang it. Oh, no. there he is. He's running. I got him right here. I got him. Uh, now we just need a gaff. <laughs> That's a caught fish, guys, right there. At the moment, we don't have a gaff or a net. There he is. Heads up, guys. That's a big one. What? Did the hook just come out right when we pulled him over? <laughs> hey, that's, what, that's quick release. Look at that. Right there, man. The hook literally just came out right when we pulled him over. Where'd your swim bait go? I mean, it flew off the pier, I think. 
Does anybody want him for shark bait or anything? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna get a couple. Hey, appreciate you grabbing that gaff, man. Thank you. That's a big one right there. Pound for pound, that's one of the harder fighting fish you can catch out here. So Jack Kerbal. And we're gonna give him away. They make great shark bait, so we're gonna give him away for shark baits. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> this lady got so mad that we gave this jack. What did she not? So we get, we go up here. We're we're staying out of the wings. It's so windy, but we gave this jack away as this, shark bait. As shark bait, because and number one, the dude let us use his gaff. So mm -hmm. we didn't want it. We did gaff him. So we go up there and we're like putting in this cooler and this lady. She like, lost it. Yeah, like, she was an angry she, Karen. She was. Right, she's like, she why would angry. you? Why would you be trying to yeah. catch a shark anyways? And and well, Ron wasn't even filming. Uh, yeah. Well, because the wind, I didn't realize she was like gonna be mad at first. I thought she was just asking us what it was. I was trying Dude, to get the camera. That out was and awesome. Was, that was awesome. All right, guys. So pretty sure this fellow is hooked up on a shark. It's really cool to catch them out here. The problem is you cannot keep them or can't bring them up on the deck on the pier. So all he's gonna be able to do is get this guy on his side. <laughs> I was to wear half a spool out there. <laughs> Somebody got a, a, a hook to get him up? Uh, well, you can't, if it's a shark, you can't bring him up on the deck. If it's a shark, he would have broke me off. Depends on how you have him hooked. He probably, yeah. He's fighting a lot like a shark. If you've got him hooked right in the corner, there's a decent chance you've got you've got him where he's not, unless he tail whips your leader or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a little hammerhead. All right, so he's caught fish. You got him on his side. You taking video? Yeah. Can you send it to me? Well, we'll be putting it on YouTube, but yeah, for sure. Get him up on, get him up here, and then what you're gonna do? Once you get him up, you're gonna point your rod straight down at the bottom and reel down to him and just pull straight up, and it'll pop him off. This is called Where's Ron? Okay. Literally an hour ago, he said, "I'm walking down here to go to the bathroom." Are you kidding me? Look at this. He's at the pier bar. <laughs> It never fails. It, ne it never fails. I just caught a giant tarp and you weren't even there to film it. Yeah, right. I swear. Yeah, right. Yes, I did. No, Why are you in here at the bar? I'm getting food. I mean, you can't eat a lot because you're on a diet because you're half marathon. I never said I was dieting. I said I was going to run a half marathon. There's a difference. Yeah, well, you, you better diet if you're going to run a half marathon. I just got to train, not diet. And guys, we are at Angler's Restaurant. It's at the base of the pier. So if you are ever at the pier right here, go check it out. Great place to eat lunch. My burger's awesome. Ron's chicken sandwich is awesome. Great way to end the day at the pier. Let's see that landing shot. Oh, you look like you've done that before. With all the drone comments that we've received lately uh, in our comment section, we felt obligated to uh, put in some proverbial drone shots for you guys, just to let you know that we do have a drone. It's just a lot of places it is illegal to fly. And so Ron's flying it around right now over Bayou Chico. This is a nice shot of Bayou Chico right now. I can say that I'm never gonna doubt you again when it comes to your fishing feelings. Say what you want to, catching a, a bruiser of a jack like that on I the pier you, is awesome. By the way, we just ate a burger and this isn't on your diet for the for the half marathon. Right. Okay, no. I don't think you understand how this works. You're eating an apple pie. Which is loaded with carbs. And you need carbs, I read that online, you need carbs for running. It, he ain't gonna make it. He's not gonna make it. It's not gonna happen. They're not there yet. I haven't hit 10K yet. As soon as he hits 10K for all the new subs, he's running a half marathon. Not, right. I mean, when we, I will tell you, we've looked. We're having trouble finding one. So we'd have to find one. But and we appreciate all the, the, the YouTube doctors out there in the comment section that are like. <laughs> yeah, can we, seriously, can we address this? I have actually ran multiple half marathons now i know i don't do not look like your typical runner but back when we lived in kentucky i used to run the derby half marathon all the time and it has been a few years but it's not like i've never like went outside and walked or ran down the street okay. i am a little bit bigger but as your coach i still don't approve of the apple pie well as uh your camera guy i don't really care okay. <laughs> <clears throat> but guys as always we greatly appreciate you watching these videos Shoot us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Tomorrow we're heading back out to the pier with Bama Beach Bum and crew. Are you serious? So you're this upset about going today and then tomorrow? No, you're no, 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 like... no. Hold on. Tomorrow there's going to be no wind. It's going to be super calm. All right. And so we are heading back out there tomorrow. And tomorrow's goal 
Tomorrow's goal is tarpon only. Monster 100 pound tarpon that we can pull up to the beach and catch. And you got to stay out there. There's no going to the restaurant bar until... Listen to me. We catch one tarpon put it on the beach, I'm going to get that chicken sandwich again because it was really good. Manglers was awesome chicken sandwich. Y'all have a great week.